guys and thanks for clicking to watch this video. Today I filmed a haul. <laughs> okay, we'll get into the feelings about that and how much stuff I've actually purchased over the last little while. Um, I'm a little bit ashamed of myself, so we'll just leave that alone for now and return to it at a later date. So I'm just gonna be showing you guys these pieces and a lot of it was on sale so if it's something that you're interested in i would try to check it out now some of the stuff i've had sitting here for quite a while so i'm hoping that you know it's not out of stock if you guys do want to purchase anything and you do go over to the website um i hope it's still there did i say i was ashamed of myself okay let's just let's get into it you can judge me later i'm just gonna cut this and put this at the front of the video but i did change the lighting so that my so that the colors and stuff were coming up a little bit more so the lighting isn't as stark in the room anymore so if things look different that's why i just the oversaturation that i had in my previous videos i'm just learning so i'm just using um that new knowledge to make things a little bit more aesthetically pleasing and so you guys are seeing things that are more true to color especially so if you notice that then that's what that's about i am trying so um yeah so the first thing i've got on is this white it's called like a sheer top i think and it's got these um it's quite a deep v and then it also has these shoulder pads as well honestly i don't love this top i just i find it to be quite see-through and um the the padding at the top you could just see the sponge material that they used to put in there there's nothing covering it there's nothing like it's just basically you could see where the shoulder pads are like the outline of the shoulder pads but not in a good way it's like basically you could see that piece of sponge that they use as the material to make the shoulder pad so i guess mostly i don't like the quality of this shirt um it's a really nice kind of flowy shirt and it's got long sleeves and um yeah that's what it looks like since i have them on together i'm going to show you guys these pants these are just some faux leather pants that i also that i got from zara i did i say i got the top from zara asos it's from zara um, and so these full leather pants are also, they're a paper bag waist and they're supposed to be loose fitting. They do say that. Um, I just don't like the way they look. I don't like the, this, I don't like, I don't like it at all. It's just, it just, I don't think these pants suit me. They bunch up quite a bit right in this area. And I just feel like there's other pants that are more flattering to my body type. But like that area that kind of comes down here, it dips in. And so there's always like a lot of fabric here if I don't have the right fit. So as a combination, I would say I'll be returning this top and I will also be returning these pants. These pants are in a size 25 waist and this top is in a size small. Next up, I have this shirt and this shirt is also from Zara. So this shirt is in a white color. Um, and it's basically made out of a ruching design. The design of it is ruching throughout, so the stomach area. And then it also is kind of a crossover top as well, but in a crop form. And I don't mind the way the shirt looks, but I will be returning the shirt because I find that it's very uncomfortable in this area. This next top is a faux shoulder padded vest, meaning there is no real material in here, but the structure of it is built to kind of accentuate a kind of a square shoulder. Um, I will not be keeping this top. It just, for some reason, it's not doing anything for me. I find that it's kind of boxy, but it has real, like no real figure. I don't know why I wanted to buy this. I think I just seen so many people wearing these knitted vests this last past season and I was like, oh, they look so cute. They can style it this way, they can style it that way. And it's not that I couldn't, it's just that I've seen so many other nicer ones that I think would fit my body type a little bit better. Um, so I might get another one and try to work it into my wardrobe somehow, but this just doesn't seem to be the one for me. So far, everything that I purchased, I will be returning. So hopefully things start taking a different turn. And if it doesn't, I'll just get my money back and call it a mistake. Easy. And so the next item from this particular Zara purchase was this three quarter sleeve kind of blue, navy blue and white striped top. And it has this really kind of 
fun collar that kind of droops down and it's quite long and then a pussy bow I believe is what it's called right in the middle here and this is something that I had to tie up my issue with the shirt is I just don't want to keep it <laughs> I don't see myself reaching for it um, I don't know why I was feeling quite nautical like something striped would be fun when I made this purchase but now that I have it, I just feel like I'm not invested in this piece and it doesn't really say much to me as far as styling it goes. So I'm just going to make the decision to return it. The next item is this corduroy overshirt and this did come with pockets on the side. It's in a powder kind of blue color and there's some also patch pockets on the front. Um, this shirt just does nothing for me um, and even though it is an over shirt and they're not supposed to really kind of show off anything too much I don't think I think that I was gonna like the color and that's why I purchased it but now that I have it it's not that anything is wrong with it I just it's just not my favorite it's not my favorite so um, I think I'm gonna be returning this shirt as well we'll see it has a raw hem um, and it's made out of a corduroy material and it's in a powder blue color which is really pretty but I think I don't know like there's just something about it that I'm not sold on now I'm on the fence with this one because now that I have it on again now that I've been looking at it I'm like I could wear this this is very practical but also it is kind of stylish and edgy um, because of the cut of it and it's got that boyfriend feel that I like in my overshirts as well so I'll see what I decide to do with this I don't know if you guys see it again then I kept it if you don't then I probably let it go okay so this is a perfect example of who do I think I am <laughs> this dress is a lovely dress I think it's very nice I think it I think it's a beautiful dress I think with the belted accent um, it came with this belt. I think it looks really cute, but I have one question for myself. Where am I going and who do I think I am? You know, it's just one of those things that, and I was saying this before, when you make the decision to keep something in your closet, you have to have an idea of a time that you could wear this or when, where, how, why. And it has to be within that year. It can't be like, oh, you know, maybe in five years when I am got my body back and, you know, and my kids are older. Like, I mean, that's something that you could, I, everybody's different. I don't know why I'm telling you how to live your life, but I'm just saying for me personally, I don't see myself wearing this in the next year. Like, who do I think, where do I think I'm going with this? It's cute and everything, but girl, like, you think you're hot? You think you're Catwoman with, like, I don't know. I don't know. But I do like the dress. I have nothing bad to say about it. Um, this is what it looks like at the back. This dress is a faux leather dress and it's warm it's got a little bit of balloon sleeves and it's tighter around the cuffs and it's about a three-quarter length i would say so that's what that looks like when i pull it all the way down there's nothing wrong with this dress the buttons as an accent and the belt as an accent really works for it i do like the um more accentuated shoulders or the strong shoulders but i will not be wearing this dress to any occasion that i can think of for the next little while in my um in my future in my near future so um i think what i'll be doing with this is i'll be returning it because i don't love it enough to keep it and say this is a classic piece i don't know if this says me enough to do that so i'm gonna return this dress and although it's a beautiful dress and i do really like it um if i had bought it like that day thinking of an occasion that day or right now then I would keep it and that's not to say that couldn't change over the next little while but at the same time I just feel like right now my call is that I'm going to be returning this back to Zara also guys I know that these pants don't go with everything I'm not trying to put it on as an outfit I just have them out here so I'm using them um, as bottoms to try on some of the tops because that's what I ended up getting most of were um, tops this is from another online purchase that I made from Zara and I love this shirt so much. It's kind of, um, it's giving me like Senorita. <laughs> 
I don't know how else to put it, but it's giving me crop top, um, a little bit of shoulder and clavicle, but it's not off the shoulder. And um, it's lower cut so that it does have like a little bit more of a sweetheart neckline, but it's not so low that it's showing off too much. And I just think it's really cute. I really love the shirt. It's in red. I think it's in a size small um, and it's beautiful. I know that I'll be wearing this with jeans and feeling like she reminds me of a West Side Story. Okay, first of all, I know I can't sing. I don't need I don't need anybody telling me that. I know. I'm just doing a little number just to like give the outfit or the shirt some justice. That's the vibe I'm getting from it. I really enjoy it and um, yeah, I will be keeping this. Finally. So this little number is a newer item on these are websites, so go get you one. This color is beautiful. It's like I think I would call it almost like a cantaloupe because it's not quite yellow, it's not quite orange, it's like cantaloupe. Yeah, cantaloupe. Yeah, that's what I would say. That's what it reminds me of. And sorry again, these pants, they're just a part of the try-on because guess what? They're just so easy to rip on and rip off and they're great for doing try-on videos. So that's why you're just gonna keep seeing them. I'm sorry, like I said, I wouldn't style this together necessarily. Not that you couldn't, but anyways. Um, so this top is a racer back top with the more um, higher neck and I just, I love it. I think it's great. The only thing with tops like these are that it's hard to find a bra. So if you're somebody that needs to wear a bra, it's kind of difficult. I have another top like this from Zara and you basically have to wear just like nipple covers because otherwise it'll show either on the back or you know up in the sleeve area but i guess you could always wear an underwire bra but it kind of takes away from the actual form fittingness of this shirt because i've tried that in the past with a different one but yeah this is gorgeous it's a part of their limitless collection and i really really love the color of this i could just uh, I think just this is one of those colors that would make any skin tone pop because I've seen this when I first was going to get this I think I saw it on a girl here on YouTube her name is Susie Binaldi and she was wearing this and I was like oh my gosh that looks so good on her but also I was just like I can't wait to see I can't wait to see myself in this as well because I just know that it would look really nice on um, darker skin as well so spring summer piece to add a little bit of light in your life this is great. I think it's um, just a very flattering cut, very feminine and easy to easy to wear. And I think it's kind of a, a statement piece, to be honest. It's just it's a standalone. So yeah, I'm not gonna lie, guys. This is kind of a look. <laughs> so once again, I have this cord over shirt, and this one is the more trench version. It's a longer cut. And so I think I like this one better. I just like the way this one sits on me a little bit better. Um, like I said, it's a longer cut and it is in the cream color. Same pockets on the side and the patch pockets on the front. The same deal, same size. But this one is just a little bit more um, snug. And I like it a little bit more snug because this I could wear like a thinner hoodie underneath but I could also wear other things and feel like it was a little bit more flattering to my figure. I would be wearing this for warmth in the evenings. This hit me about mid-calf, so I really like it, and I'm about five foot two. So, um, yeah, I like this one. This one I'm gonna be keeping. So, so far, the last three items are on my keep list. So this is described as a ruched black dress, and it is from Zara. Um, I really like this dress. I like the way it sits on me. I like how long it is. Um, I do really enjoy this dress. I just feel like it's so tight in this area, but it it's not a tight where it's like bad, but like you could really feel it. So it's not the most comfortable, but also it makes it difficult to get it on because the zipper um, does roll in the back a little bit as well. So I'm really torn because I want to keep it because I know that, you know, there might be a time where your girl could fit it, but I did say before that it's not the best thing to keep things that you're not wearing actively. And so, especially if it's a new purchase and you could just get your money back and return it and you know ahead of time, then just make that call and make that hard call. 
um, it shouldn't be that hard because you'll probably forget about it in a week anyways but I really do like this dress and the, just the style of it it's very much me it's very much something that's simple but also you know classy and classic the cut of it and it's just a really cute little black dress with the long sleeves but I like I said the fit of it is a little snug so I'm torn. I might keep it, I might not. So from Zara as well, I got this um, mini skirt and it is a leatherette mini skirt. Um, so this is my actual um, final piece from Zara and this is actually a crop top that you could catch me outside in. Um, it's a black and white top and it's almost like a, I would say like a peplum top, but it's like a cropped peplum and it does have an elasticated portion below here and this little piece is kind of flared over top as an effect so i really like this top i like this flared bit that kind of hangs over this more tighter piece because i feel like my stomach's covered but also it's covered and although it is a crop top it's not that really low crop i like a shirt like this that is in the crop cut but doesn't really show skin per se so i really like this the sleeves are um a wider sleeve as well and the black and white is really cute with the v-neck and it also has a collar i don't have anything like this in my wardrobe and i really like this style of this um shirt so i will be keeping this as well right now with covid all the stores are closed which is fine but i just had to make sure that i could try these items on and then you know give me the option of taking them back if i don't like them so it's just a call right like you buy all this stuff and then you're like yeah i might keep a third of it or maybe not um anyway guys thank you so much for joining me and i hope you have a wonderful day week hour minute wherever it is that you are and um keep safe bye guys